Next up, we have Twyla McDermott with the City of Charlotte. Twyla works with the City of Charlotte with executive leadership responsibilities for Enterprise GPS, Enterprise Address Master Data Management, Open Data Management, Open Data, and other corporate te technology programs that span multiple agencies. Twyla, welcome. I'm your last speaker, and uh, I'm happy to be here from Charlotte. Anybody else here from Charlotte? No? Okay. Well, I don't feel so good. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, I'm here to talk about CityGram and how we've humanized open data from geek speak to human speak. Uh, CityGram is a partnership between the city of Charlotte our Code for Charlotte Brigade and Code for America. The genesis of CityGram began last year when the city of Charlotte was part of the 2014 fellowship program. We had two young people that came to Charlotte to help us with this strategic initiative, citizen engagement. I work on the IT side and I have a partner out of our neighborhood and business services department. And we worked with these fellows to help align a mission around citizen engagement and an application that helped to connect our citizens better with their government. We also wanted to measure citizen engagement, so we just didn't want to do it and do it better, but we wanted a way to tally our effectiveness. What we discovered was, wow, we had lots of tools already. Lots of engagement tools, and this isn't even all of them as of last year, and we've added more, not counting city. And we also had something called the website in its clunkiness, and there were resources there, various resources, including our open data portal. The opportunity we had was that we have tons of data, operational data that our departments are churning out every day but it wasn't very useful to citizens, even out of the open data portal. We needed a way to make this data more accessible and meaningful to our citizens. In came CityGram. CityGram is a geographically relevant web-based application that allows citizens to subscribe to events, events that are powered by open data, by operational data, and they can, they can select which events are relevant to them by location, and then have that event notification delivered to them, either as an email or a text message. These are some guiding principles. I'm not going to read them to you, but uh, uh, the city gram development was sort of an awakening for us that we really needed to do human-centered design. We needed to talk to our citizens about what worked for them. And we needed to be agile. We didn't have to spin out this application that normally would take us years to develop. We could do it in phases. And at the end of the fellowship program last November, it wasn't finished, but that was okay. CityGram application connects citizens to open data. This is what it looks like. You go to the website, citygram.org slash Charlotte. You pick your event. We have four. can't see them. We just added one called pending rezonings. So out of the rezoning database, when a pending rezoning is registered, if you're a citizen that's picked that type of event by a specific distance, a CityGram message comes to you, quite lovely. These are its capabilities. I'm not also not going to read those to you, but I think what's important for you all as the hackathon is that CityGram is built on a platform. It's stable, it's reusable, and you too can have it in your city. I wish I was going to be here Saturday. I'd make a pitch and we'd work on this for your organization. However, uh, real quickly, this is how it works. There's departmental data out of our transportation department, out of our planning department. It's registered in our open data portal, or not, doesn't have to be. Uh, the topic feeds are uh, extracted, transformed, and loaded into CityGram and delivered to the citizen. 
some criteria. Well, we want data and Citigram messages to be relevant to the citizen. It has to be consistently updated and ideally through a business application. It has to have an accessible API and have both a time and a geographic component. This is what GeekSpeak looks like, right? I mean, this is a table of data, land development data in the great city of Charlotte. Uh, we actually, uh, the, the process is to extract that data, to transform it, to curate it, to translate it into human language. What a concept. And deliver a citigram from GeekSpeak to human speak, either on an iPhone, a laptop, pad, whatever. These were the goals for Citigram, to increase our citizen engagement, to be proactive and not reactive, not wait on people to ask us for information, and to demonstrate the capabilities of the Charlotte's Open Data Portal. It was a demonstration project. Citigram is a platform. We've heard about platforms tonight. Again, you too can have this for your city. It's maintained by the Code for Charlotte Brigade under a, a small grant from the city of Charlotte, which is kind of a new thing for brigades. Thank you. Thanks so much. Exciting project, and if there, if you see a need for that in your community or an alternate need that might be able to be deployed, certainly uh, connect with Twyla about that.